Hi guys, this is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here with the new Dollar Tree unboxing. I know it says Dollarama. I just reuse these wonderful recyclable bags everywhere. They are reusable and they're great and I love them. I use them for everything. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought some yarn. Are you ready? I bought some yarn, you guys, at the Dollar Tree. See? Dollar Tree yarn. And these were a dollar fifty each. Is my camera gonna show you? Yeah, a dollar fifty each. So let's look at some of this yarn. I don't know if you could see. I'm just gonna put it back in the bag after we open it, I guess. So um I got the Premier Just Yarn. It is this thick. And you know what? It's surprisingly soft for Dollar Tree yarn. And what I'm hoping is that it works with my um, knitting machines. Because you guys, I have a lot of knitting machines now. I have, look at, look at the mess in my room. A lot of knitting machines now. Yeah. So... I need a yarn that works with it. And I have mostly Super Saver yarn at home. Super Saver hates knitting machines. Or knitting machines hate Super Saver. So anyway, I bought two of this really pretty purple. So this is the DK yarn. And on the back it says... 155 yards, which is 142 meters. 1.76 ounces, which is 50 grams. 100% acrylic. And this is light number three. Now... I'm hoping this will work. It might be too thin, but it doesn't seem too thin. And I brought a piece of my other yarn that works really nice with the knitting machine. This is the yarn that came with the knitting machine that I bought. And I brought it for comparison, and it seems very similar. Um, this yarn from the knitting machine is thicker, but I figure if I use a tighter tension, this should work. At least I'm hoping. And if it doesn't, these were only $1.50 each, and I can use them for crochet. I do a lot of crocheting. So I got the two purple and the two green. Oh, they look blue in the camera. These are not blue. These are green. That's a beautiful color in the camera. Okay, I turned the light on and it did not change the color. This is not the color that it is showing. That is a beautiful color. I wish it was that color, but the real life color is green. Why is my camera showing it as blue? The purple is purple. Weird. Okay, and this one's the blue one. This is a dark blue, and it looks black in the camera, but it's dark blue. Now, I have the overhead light on, and I have my lamp on, but um, I guess that's just not good enough. And I have the beige. So I got two of each colors, because there's not a lot. And I, it says it's light yarn, but I have yarn that's lighter than this that works great in my knitting machine. So I'm hoping this will work. I've used the sports, the sports thickness one and it worked fine. And this is thicker than that. So hopefully it will work. So I got the burgundy as well. And then I tried the, the, uh, chenille yarn. So this is premier just chenille. I don't know if this will work in the knitting machine, but I'm, I can, I can crochet with this. And at a dollar fifty each, this was really nice. So uh, this is the soft pink color, and this says this is made in Turkey. And uh, let's see, this is called Super Bulky Number Six. So the machine works best with four and five. So I got a three and a six. I don't know if this will work with it, but I also bought some looms, some like hand looms. So this will work with that because it says it takes bulky yarn. So isn't that color pretty? And I've got two of these. So these are 100% polyester. They're 65 yards or 60 meters. There's 50 grams or 1.76 ounces. And it says machine wash, lay flat to dry. And they have patterns at their website, premieryarn.com. Okay. And this is a really beautiful color. Um, 
This is called Rain. And I got two of the off-white color. And this color is called Antique. So Antique White. Isn't that beautiful? And I wish you could feel how soft these are. They're super, super soft. These would make beautiful amigurumi stuffed animals, which is probably what I'll do. And then I got one of this color, and it's coming out as blue. It's not blue, it's green. Why is my camera showing green as blue? These both are green. These are both green yarns. <laughs> if In the camera, they look like a vivid sapphire blue and a different blue. They're beautiful, but they're not. They're green. So weird. Why isn't it showing green? I wish it was this color blue. That's gorgeous. And I got a hot pink, which is coming out more red in my camera. It's it's actually hot pink, like a rose pink. So this one is called Very Berry. And I forgot to tell you the color on this one. This is teal, teal green. And I grabbed a yellow. This is lemon yellow. And last but not least, I grabbed one ball of black. And it's called black. And this is just like the softest yarn in the world. So yeah. So this is my Dollar Tree yarn haul. And that is quite the haul, you guys. Yarn for days. Everyone I know is getting a hat for Christmas this year. And probably a scarf. And I also plan on making some cute stuffed animals with these ones. I don't know if these would make nice hats or anything because I've never crocheted like clothing with these, but I have crocheted stuffed animals with these like toys and they come out really nice. So yeah, I'm very excited about this. If you have a Dollar Tree, go check it out, see what colors are available and just know that the colors, the green, this is supposed to be green. <laughs> anyway, you guys, thank you so much for uh, watching. I hope you like this. Let me know in the comments if you've tried the chenille yarn or if you've tried the just yarn. And if you have a knitting machine, do they work? All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe. Hit the notification bell. All of those good things that help me as a channel. And most importantly of all, take care, stay safe, and happy crafting. Bye, guys.